The research at the University of California, Riverside, is based on the fact that mosquitoes use the same receptor for detecting carbon dioxide in our breath as they do for the odor from our skin when they come closer. The lead investigator, Ananda Sankar Ray, says scientists tested more than a million chemical compounds until they found a substance called ethyl pyruvate that shuts down the mosquito's receptor. When we apply ethyl pyruvate to a human arm and offer it to the mosquitoes, hungry mosquitoes, in a cage, then very few of the mosquitoes are attracted to the human arm because only a few of them are able to smell it out. Genevieve Tux, also on the team, says finding the mosquito neurons that detect both our breath and skin odor was not easy. With this apparatus, we are able to insert a very small electrode into the part of the mosquito's nose, effectively, where its olfactory neurons are and where the smell is happening. With these instruments, scientists were able to detect the signals that the mosquito's neurons send to its brain when it senses attractive odors. Spikes on the computer screen show when the attraction is strong or weak. Ray says a repellent based on ethyl pyruvate may be cheaper to manufacture than DEET, the most effective chemical now in use. He says it's too expensive for most people in malaria-affected areas. Perhaps by finding odors that can attack other target receptors, we will be able to improve upon DEET and finally have the next generation of insect behavior control products. The University of California scientists say they believe they will soon be able to find a way to manufacture cheaper and more effective repellents for the fight against mosquitoes. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.